Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. We are starting off at the outlet. So I went on Wednesday, so it's been a couple days, but I'm going to assume it hasn't really changed that much. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but I found that the outlet has been looking kind of the same recently. We have the stacked pumpkin and Christmas plant wallflower plug here, and we just saw they have still tons of the pumpkin pecan waffles, which is a great deal at 75% off. And of course, like I said, last time at the outlet, they did not put any jalapenos in the wax. Uh, Luminous is still plentiful and bountiful. So if you're a Luminous fan, I'm pretty sure your outlet store will have some sweetheart cherry. That's one that I just could not get into. I much rather prefer to smell firecracker pop than that one. Frosted coconut snowball. It was nice to see Christmas. And I really like the packaging that they did last year. Um, very well done. Get you in a Christmas mood. Over here, we have four Cocoa Paradise shower gels hiding. I maybe was going to get one of these, but I totally forgot. They're just hiding around the corner. So 75% off. That's a nice um, find. It's a kind of rare find, I guess, because Cocoa Paradise, is it discontinued, I guess? But I haven't seen it very often. So that was a cool find. Let's see what we have on the other side here. Moxie. Oh, what a shock. Uh, we've seen Moxie plenty of times. Not sure why I'm showing you that. I thought they, those were the ingredients, but they were not the ingredients. More Luminous. Um, I, you Luminous fans in San Diego, you need to <laughs> you need to get all of that because they... Um, actually, maybe they'll be marked down eventually. Who knows? Brought Christmas Morning. I still love that um, Christmas Mouse theme from, what, last year? More Moxie, more Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Into the Night um, Conditioner. Very nice. I had to run on over to the $2 section, and it's pretty much the same. We have the Ballet Nights, which I think is a nice send. I'm not sure why I slept on it earlier, but maybe I'm glad I did because I have a couple. Even though I don't really use Fine Fragrance Mist, um, I would use this just for my clothes. It's definitely a winter scent for me. Satin Slippers and some what com comfort vanilla and patchouli the other side same thing uh but yeah fine fragrance mists are not good for me because i've as you know i've been getting rash after rash after rash so, so solar shine i'm not gonna get that one even though i could spray these on my clothes actually i did get a few of the pink paradise because i really like that scent Again, it's going to be a scent for my shirts. Yeah, I'm not sure how um, long they'll last on clothes, but yeah, we'll see. Sugared Snickerdoodle in the single wick. It was nice seeing a mason jar candle. fifteen fifty. so for $3, that's a great price. I don't really love that scent, so I did not pick that up. Maybe if it was um, Tis the Season or something, I would have, because I love that scent. Some $3 soaps that... I, I, I want to like almost ask for a price check because I feel like those are too expensive for the outlet. Um, they should probably be marked down to $2 just so they can get moving. They eventually will, I'm sure. There was a Stranger Things coffee candle there and Fruity Sherbet Scoop. More 50% off um, Gingham Hero. Um, that one's just okay for me. It's definitely not my favorite men's cologne or cologne in general. Other side, we have Bridgerton Soap. I assume those will be marked down to 75% off pretty soon because Bridgerton is 75% off. So, not sure why the soap hasn't been marked down yet. And what else do we have here? Discover the Vibrant Joyful. And I uh, can't read very fast, but we have this Rainforest Jungle candle here for the Heritage Collection. So, this is the limited collection. Uh, Rainforest Jungle, uh, Soft Rainfall, Lush Trees, and Eucalyptus. Definitely smell the Eucalyptus in that one. Smell kind of Christmassy. Mango Passion Fruit. I love the orange lid on this one. And uh, the Basket Weave Wraparound is nice too. Mango, Passion Fruit, Pineapple. All fruits that I enjoy. I love pineapple and mango, but I'm not looking for jungle candles right now. Or sorry, I'm, I'm not looking for tropical candles right now. So I would get it for the orange lid, but I'm really trying not to spend so much at Bath & Body Works because I've been spending too much. I feel I've been hoarding for sure. Brown Sugar Coconut, I think that one was, and the Festival de las Flores with the pretty pink lid. So these are all candles that I will skip because, yeah, I'm not buying anything right now. I'm not even going to participate in the 40% off sale because I think it's time. It's, it's, it's good to stay away from the store and it's good to just enjoy what you have and not constantly add, add, add. At least that's what I'm telling myself. 
And here's the signage of for the Heritage Collection, Brown Sugar Coconut, just in case you wanted a closer look at that. And actually, that clip was from Plaza Bonita, I believe. Same with this one, I want to say. This is what Plaza Bonita has left for Stranger Things, and we still have a lot of soaps and candles going on. I did return one of the upside down candle holders because I had two, but I preferred the one I got for 50% off. So I kept that one and I returned one. And the lady, when I returned it, she asked me, is it broken? Um, anything wrong with it? I said, no, it's not broken. It's fine. And she, she just scrambled to get batteries. She was like opening drawers and she had to get batteries to pop a couple in just to make sure it wasn't broken. But I thought that's weird. Even if it's broken, I think I'm still entitled to it, to a return. So she was just, you know, really making sure I wasn't returning a broken one, I guess. <laughs> but we have that, that a thousand wishes, and I love the new packaging. I love the new design. Very well done. I, I love it more when there's um, that darker purple um, contrasting with the pink label. So I think that's beautiful. A thousand wishes is a great scent, and I bought, mm, I think, mm, 10 perfumes during SAS. I mean, for 10, 11 bucks, um, you can't beat that. So... This new bottle, or this, I guess, this is what, maybe an older bottle that they have brought back. Kind of cool, kind of quirky. It looks like stacked presents that are not stacked properly. But, yeah, I won't be getting any of these because, you know, that's what SAS is for. To get amazing deals, and I definitely have a lifetime supply of A Thousand Wishes perfume now. So, unless I see that one at SAS, even though I, yeah, I don't need it. I have so many of those. But here's the fine Frankenstein mist with the, or that, that was the diamond shimmer mist, I, I guess. Fine Frankenstein mist with the fancy top. But for the 40% off sale, I think it's really good to get the perfumes. If you want a perfume or cologne, it's a much better price than, um, you know, full price. But if you really love perfume, then the buy three, get three is obviously 50% off. And if you have a coupon, even better. But 40% off, not bad. Um, I definitely would focus on that over candles and body care. So we have the Halloween section at the Mira Mesa store now. And they said they had actually a lot of the apple cauldron, app, candy apple cauldron candles. Taking a look at this display here and some wallflower plugs. So, um, yeah, I guess plenty of Halloween left, but maybe not so much of the exciting items. Stranger Things, uh, lots of candles and none of the upside down candle holders or, or the vine candle holder. The hearse is still in the store. I feel like they made way too many of those. But another item you can get with the 40% off would be candle holders. I think that's a great use of the 40% off sale. A good thing to focus on. So this one right here is uh, $35. So with 40% off, it's um, I think minus 14. So $21. So the 40% off sale would be great for the candle holders and perfumes. Not so great with candles or body care. Um, you should get your wallflower plugs because those are also items that don't always go on sale. And this, um, what's that called? Silver Swirling Glitter Pedestal. Um, that is $29.97, so 30 bucks. And this Golden Decagon is $17.97, so pretty, pretty nice sale. And you have to go into the store for these three. These are very much getting sold out, but I would definitely snap these up for 40% off because these are no longer online. So those are very nice fall candle holders into the night. Like I said, the perfumes, pretty good deal. Uh, for me, of course, I wait for sass, but if you want this now, then definitely better than the maybe usual 20% off or 25% off coupon. So snap that up if you're looking for that one. Very nice packaging there. And the wallflower plugs, we have the fall trio pumpkin wallflower plug. Um, 20 bucks. So I think that one will be $12. And we have the cute moon or the cute owl on the moon. Um, can't see the price for that one, but we have the pumpkin. Very nice. And this pocket back holders. So the pocket back holders are also great to get with the 40% off sale. We have the furry dog paw. The retail price on this one is 10 bucks, so you can get it for $6. And I love the owl with the pecan pie. Very cute. So pocket back holders are nice to get for this sale. And there's the mushroom with the rather large head. And I'm going to finish off this walkthrough with a clip of me ice skating because that's what people think about when they watch Bath & Body Works walkthroughs. There's me doing a sit spin and I wasn't super happy with it. But yeah, I hope you liked the walkthrough and I hope you're enjoying the sale. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!